Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. In this video, I'm introducing my latest Lightroom preset package. Previously, I released my Volume 1 uh, preset package that had 70 Lightroom presets. Then I had an HDR effects preset package that gave you a really cool HDR look to your images, and that had 31 presets. Then I came out with a um, wedding and lifestyle an outdoor portrait preset package and that had 31 presets but I've been getting tons of emails of people requesting a black and white preset package so it took me a while to develop one because I wanted some really unique effects so today I'm glad to uh, announce and release uh, my black and white preset package and in this video I'm going to show you how to install it in Lightroom now when you buy any presets off the internet, uh, mine or anyone else's, they're usually in a zip file. And all a zip file is, it makes it smaller, it compresses the file so that when you download the file from the internet it doesn't take as long to download it. But before you could use a zip file, it has to be unzipped. Now you could tell a zip file zipped because it usually ends with .zip, zip. So when you download the file, you're going to have to unzip it. Um, Windows and Mac computers will automatically unzip them. All you have to do is double click on the file and it will unzip it. The key is you have to remember where you unzipped it to be so you could find it later to install it in Lightroom. So download the file, um, double click on the zip file and it will unzip it. Remember where it puts it. And I have mine on my desktop here so I could find it relatively easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Lightroom and we're going to go into the, the develop module. And on the left hand side you'll see all these um, tabs and one of them is presets. And we're going to open that up and all you have to do is first create a folder to put these new presets in. You can see I have my HDR presets, my preset package number one there, and my wedding lifestyle and outdoor photography preset uh, packages already in here. Also, Lightroom comes with presets already, and um, so you could always check those out. Now, um, to create the new folder, all you have to do is right-click on any of these, and a little menu pops up, and we're going to pick New Folder. And I'm going to call mine Anthony M's B&W Presets, and I'm going to click Create. So there it is right there, and as you can see, it's empty. There's nothing in it. Just make sure it's highlighted because whatever you're highlighting now is where we're loading the presets in. So now we're we'll right click on that that again and we're gonna go down to import and the menu comes up and as I mentioned mine is on my desktop it's right there and you can see these are the 31 presets here. Now you have to load them all in to this folder so you have to select them and the easiest way to select all of them is to click on one and then hit Command A if you have a Mac or Control A if you have a PC and that means that'll select all of them and just click import and it only takes a second and it imports them into um, your Lightroom and they're right there under Anthony M's B&W presets. Now I wanted to show a few of them in action and how you use them and one question I get asked a lot is if you could stack presets and typically you can't although with my first package the package that had 70 presets in it I created those so you could do some stacking with them so you could stack different effects um, usually you can't though because you're affecting so many different sliders over here on each preset you're basically overwriting it each time and with my black and white presets that was unavoidable because the effects are so dramatic um, this a uh, picture of this horse, you guys who watch my Lightroom training videos might remember I had an episode where I did a real dramatic black and white effect on this image and um, it probably took me 15-20 minutes to do it. Well I have it in my preset package so you could do it in one click and it's right here it's the Morganti effect I called it um, and um, I have it in light, medium, and strong so you could just you know do it in light and see if you like it and try it in medium if you like that or do a really strong if you're really crazy and that gives you this kind of effect like I did in that um, in that uh, video learn Lightroom 5 video so you could do it in one click instead of taking 15-20 minutes to do it just do it in one click um, 
I'll show you some of the other effects here. Um, we have some, like, I don't know, graphic black and white maybe on this one. You can see in just one click this dramatic effect you get uh, with the image. I'll do the before and after. There's before and there's after. Um, I do have some that will affect certain parts of the image. In this one here we have this, um, you know, blue sky. And let's say we want to enhance the sky. So we could enhance it slightly and so it makes it black and white and enhances the sky a little or maybe bring out a little more drama in the sky like that. And then I have image like this and um, we have this really kind of dramatic light coming in here. So we want this dramatic look. So we'll go dramatic medium or dramatic strong. So those are, you know, really some powerful effects that might take you some time to create by just sliding these sliders and going back and forth and I've uh, created them so you could just do it with one click and it will save you a lot of time. Um, I did mention that you can't stack these uh, presets. That's not entirely true. I have one preset here that you could stack on top of the others. So after you you pick your preset and you're happy with it, um, go up here and the very first one is the B&W Sharpening and Noise Reduction. Typically a lot of times with these effects when you're creating a black and white image um, it creates a lot of noise so you have to be very careful with your sharpening and your noise reduction and I've created one preset that you could put on top of all of these and it won't affect the image except it will sharpen it and it will um, remove some noise so all you gotta do is click that before you're you know before you print the image or before you export the image and you apply sharpening and noise reduction now to this image automatically. So that's the only one that you could, um, it's kind of like the frosting on the cake, just do it right at the end and you'll be all set. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's not much to add here. Oh, if you do, you know, you're, you're doing some of these presets and you're not happy with them, um, let's say, you know, back to the sky one, you just, oh, I want to start from the beginning. Just click reset over here and it will uh, bring you right back to where you started and you could try something else, um, you know, something more dramatic or something like that. So all you have to do is hit reset. Also, don't be shy. Um, if you look at this and you're, you're going, well, I want to try some, you could use this as a starting point and slide some of these sliders around and try to get a different effect. So you could you know use one of these and you go well I like that but I want to get the grass a little different look in or or something like that so you know just because you choose a preset doesn't mean you just can't go over here and readjust things a little bit if you want so that's it um, that's my latest my fourth Lightroom um, preset bundle and um, hope you guys like it and I hope this video helped you install any presets that you might get off it uh, you know buy off the internet or get for free off the internet and if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com. That's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.